face everyone with Ray Ferraro down near the ice. Eddie Olchek getting some ice cream, but he's back alongside. This is Mike Emery. Looking forward to a great night of hockey action here. It's a game within the Western Conference between Dallas and the Edmonton Oilers. Eddie, what are you thinking as we prepare for this one? Well, we have two teams that are intense, Doc, and they don't like each other very much, so stay tuned. I expect some fireworks here tonight. Another terrific night of hockey here. Sagan's ready for the opening faceoff for Dallas. McDavid's out there to try to beat him for Edmonton. Our game is underway with that faceoff. Good use of the stick, broke that pass up. Carried to the corner by Sagan. Pass off the mark thanks to the defender stick. Let's it go. Puck covered, whistle blown. It's probably noisy at the bench, but Ray can hear us. You're on, man. Doc, there's been some changes over the last 10 years that maybe go under the radar, but have really changed the way the game's been played. Shifts used to be a minute long. Now 30 to 40 seconds is absolute max because the game is played at such high energy and maximum effort that you can't go any longer. Okay, Ray, thank you. The Stars controlling play now through the neutral zone. Poke checked away by Larson. He's got that point pass. Off a of body. Slid back across from one point to the other. Pass the blue line. Terrific determination by Shaw. Bodied off the puck. Sends it across. The Stars with possession in the defensive zone. Gets in. What'll he do? Sends to the point. Shot on. Score! Puck looked like it got deflected right in front of the goaltender. I'm sure Ray had a much better look at that. It did get deflected, Eddie, and when we get a look at it on the replay right here, you're going to see the goalie's in position, but because the puck is deflected the way it was, it gets past him in a way he just can't react to. Over six minutes have been skated here in the first. The Stars ahead, 1-0. Moving it to Maroon. Gives it over to the point. Off the mark. He had enough room there to get that in the short side. However, he misses the net. It doesn't matter how fast it is. If you don't get it in the four by six, it's not going to go in. Wrist shot. Great chance, but he missed. Gets that one on a cross. Good place to shoot from. What control. Skates out with it. Looking for options. Pass across at the point. Covered, whistle blown. The Stars prevailing on the faceoff. Fires! A great opportunity, but he missed the net. You talk about a heavy, hard shot. Unfortunately, it just missed. And he dumps it in. Goes back deep for it. Pitching it to Roussel. Thrown in. Stopped him from going any further. And we get a penalty. Referee to the table, a player to the box. The Oilers are boxed for two minutes on a high-sticking penalty. Watch the player's hands come up with his stick. No, no question, an easy call for the official. There's always a start to your power play night, and this is number one. Defensive zone win. He covers and holds on. The 
the Stars win that faceoff. It's a point hammer shot. They've taken the heat off again. The clock still moves. Dallas, in their own end, carrying it now. Snapping a pass to Richie. Chip to Spezza. Score! A power play goal, and it's a biggie. Now, when you talk to goaltenders, they say it's tough to pick up that puck on the backhand. And so lots of times we shake our head as the goaltender gives one up. Not here. He did everything he could. Under seven minutes still to play in this period. The Stars just widened their lead. It's now two. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? Play by number 90, Jason. Shoots one. Waffle boarded. Assisted by number 25. Takes that pass up the boards and stays. Nice tip of the pass. The Oilers in possession as they travel through center ice. Dances. Point blast. Dominance right now. Great take, dangerous area. Still no shot. Bodied off. A good stick there, so no complete pass. And he gains the zone. Sneaks in. Wrist shot. Blocked. Slid to McDavid. Ranks one. Snapped up that right wing to Roussel. Trying to go to Pitlin. The Oilers are skating it back in their own end. Gets in, looks over his options here. Oh, and he is drilled. Both teams talked about having a physical presence. He got the message. That early hit sets the tone for his team. The Oilers through the neutral zone, ready the next attack. From the outside. 20 minutes have passed. They worked hard in that period. Dallas got a pair, and they lead 2-0. Tonight is our team poster giveaway. If you find a sticker on the inside cover of your program, go to guest services to receive... Spence's goal advanced this for his team from a one-goal lead to a two as we head to break. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What impressed you most? Edmonton's lucky to still be in this game after the first period. They had turnover after turnover. I'm sure the coaches addressed that problem in the intermission. We have begun the second period. Collected by Jamie Benn. To Sagan. He's in on an onside play. To the point it comes. Enormous collision. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Propelled to Lucic. Defender held his ground. The puck is loose. The Stars up the wing lug the puck. Wonderful block. Didn't drag it very well there. Loose puck. Flings it. Edmonton's in their own end setting things up. Gains the blue line. Looks over his options from the corner. And possession once again by Ben. Flings it. Oh, a save. Closed off effectively and sealed. Defense to offense begun by Ben. Oh, terrific save on a great chance. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. Edmonton's in possession now as they move up the wing. Let's it go. His cage is rattling. Gives it to the point. Laid on to Russell. 
The Stars have moved to the neutral zone. It's dumped in. Puck corralled by Russell. That's the way to make him pay. Anytime you get hit in the open ice like that, that is a jolt. Tries to get it on net. On to Nugent Hopkins. Up the wing, possession still with him. Oh, what a great shot down there. Block that one. Brings a shot, got in front of another one. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. A shot, great stick save. Receives that pass from the other side. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Got a piece of that one. Directing that one to Camilleri. Pass to the slot. Got that in the trapper. That was all positioning right into his glove. Talbot save is a good one, but defensively they cannot give up another odd man rush. Nice face-off work. Chip to Stroll. That one is pointed to him. Side to side they go, trying to generate something. Corralled by Smith. Gets across, looks over his options. Edmonton's roster goes down by one here. At least briefly, a minor penalty for hooking. Well, what he was trying to do is trying to get the puck, but unfortunately for him, he reached in and hooked around the player. Off to the penalty box he goes. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. Tie up and help from the winger. Wristed one. Great save, point blank. The goalie makes himself look big. That puck changes direction. It becomes a really difficult stop for the goaltender to make. Good clean win on the draw. He throws it there. Saved off the mask. Strong shot deflected out of play. Just over four minutes remaining here in the second. Two goals have been scored, both by one team. Clean win on the draw. Freezes play. Solid clean win. Hoping for better things if he turns back. Dallas has been handed a minor, and the call is hooking. This was okay about 10 years ago. Not anymore. That's a hooking call. Puck about to be put in play with both teams short one player. The Oilers prevail again. Slid to dry cycle. Takes that pass. Carries it to the corner. Dallas in their own end controlling the play. Cleared back out and so they can get to the bench for a change. It's an onside play. Hammered. He missed the net. Boy, this puck had a lot of steam on it, but unfortunately he turned his hands over and that's what caused the puck to miss the net badly. Pass attempt to McDavid. Edmonton's power play could have made a big difference, but did not. Well, the coaches hated that power play. It looked great from the outside. It moved the puck around. They had awesome control, but they never got the puck to the net. There's no need for the penalty killers to scramble when it's that station. Up the half wall. Right back to Camilleri. Snaps it to Camilleri. Sends it back the other way. Looks for room. Let's, oh, what a save. 
to the last two. And the period comes to an end. Woo! We all need a rest now. It's time to support those around us with our monthly food drop. Bring three non-perishable food items, and you can receive a free team poster. Bishop's working on a masterpiece. And here's an example as we go to break. Two periods played, one period ahead. What are your thoughts so far, Eddie? The Oilers have to feel pleased that they're only down by a few in this game. They've been outchanced badly, but one good bounce offensively, they're back in this game. And now it's directed to Ben. Right to the point. A shot off the goal post. Propelled to Sagan. Edmonton's got it and moving it through the neutral zone. Shoots one. Save. Good quick poke check there. Stood up there. Laid on to Sagan. On to Shore. He had the goalie beat and hit the iron. One timer. He scores. Jamie Ben. was ready to one-time this puck. It was a perfectly placed pass. It looked to me like he had stopped this shot. He had a big chunk of it, but it worked its way into the net. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. He's got it, McKinney. Shovel it out of there. Pitching this one to Clefbaum. Left wing pass to Maroon. Three minutes, 25 seconds. Using the point. Right at the net, he got his pad on it. Tumbled to one knee and he lost it. Swept on to Russell. Pad save, ooh, hard one there. Has it back deep. Buck is thrown to Maroon. Looking to Nugent Hopkins. Takes a shot. Thrown up the wing to Spezza. Mishandled thanks to the roadblock. Puck loose. Good place to shoot from, and he does. Rugby and hockey together at the boards. Kicked out of the scrum. Chip to Clefbaum. Passing one off now to Camilleri. He's got that pass at the point. Shooting! He takes that one right ahead. Good pass. He's great point blank save. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. Nicely into the zone. Let's it go. That puck's loose, defended away by Russell. Rycycles carrying it through center. Sticked away. Puts pads together and got the whistle. Bishop's lucky, just got a piece of that, but it was enough to make the stop. A little under eight minutes left to go in the third. Do you see a pattern developing here? They're up now by three. Got possession. Moving it to Smith. Dallas in control of the puck up the wing. Mashed in. Got it in his own end. Pitching it to McDavid. Got it right back. Goalie to the bench. Extra attacker out. Points it. Shoots one. Didn't get through. He got his pad on it. Hangs on to it. 
Quick shot from the point. Great glove save. The whistle and the penalty. Dallas gets a minor for slashing here. He's making like Paul Bunyan out there. That's a two-minute slash. Edmonton's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. The Stars with a clean win on the draw. Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a face-off right near him. Bishop's far and away been the best player in this hockey game. He has faced an inordinate amount of shots in this contest, stopped just about everything, and as a result, he's got to be the first star as his team is leading this game. Loose puck captured by Lucic. Fires. Decides he wants the corner. Shot on. Great glove save, but it's loose. No room for a pass. And that one cleared by the penalty killers. The Oilers have a manpower advantage still and begin from their own end. Gains the zone. Shot. Oh, what a stop. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you've got to find a way to put the puck in the net. Bishop's butterfly positioning is perfect here. He's going to make that save all day. A little under three minutes remaining here in the third. The Stars just keep building on that earlier lead. They're up now by three. We have a winner. Good job of clearing. The Oilers' power play let them down at a very important time. Now that penalty killing group was like a well-oiled machine. They moved at the right time. They worked in sync and the goaltender made any saves that he had to. The Stars want to generate something up the wing. Final minute of the third. There will be a lot of joy in one locker room and some real searching in the other. Puck covered, whistle blown. Bishop stretched out as far as he could go. He just got a chunk of that shot. The Oilers win it. Turn the wrist shot. What a save! Feeds the point to the half wall. Throws it in front. Didn't have time, but he saved it anyway. A missed opportunity from this close in. Faces up to the point. Down low again. And he gets it back. Point to point to Sakara. 23 seconds to go. Just great positional play. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. Right on his stick from the left wing. Let's it go. A magnificent pad save. And the horn is sounded, and this one goes down into the books. The Stars have recorded a huge victory here, an overwhelming final score for them. Did not have to puck a lot. I've seen a lot of crazy games, and this is one for the ages. So the teams have left the ice and are getting rested for next time. For this time, for Eddie and Ray, Mike Emmerich saying good night.